Greetings and welcome back to the bench for the first fresh video build of 2018. This time I'm building the Hasegawa limited edition BMW 320i in 124th scale. And I believe 2018 may be kind of infused by car builds. Because I have a car thing going on right now. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. Sorry about that if you like other things. But there will be other things as well. So don't worry too much. Uh, but anyways. Yeah this is the big drift missile that I've been talking about. Building as a tribute car kind of to a work buddy of mine. That has a drift vehicle. Much like this one. Except he actually has the cool coupe version, the two door. And I think his is a 325, perhaps. Or Anyways, it doesn't matter really, because he's putting a uh, five, liter, 5 liter Ford engine in it. So it's not going to be moving too much. <laughs> yep, I don't work for Ford at all. But anyways, uh, in this first video I think we'll just have a look-see at the plastic that is going to be used and um, I've already opened up the box and I was looking at it a little bit today but I haven't really started building anything yet so there's not that much ruined but anyways yeah let's lift this lid and see what's under here oh look at that it's the body and the interior tub get that lid away from me yeah so here we have the body it's molded in like sort of transparent red but it's a fairly good mold. Uh, I think it's the same one that they use for their well plethora of touring cars uh, of this vehicle. Maybe if you do like this, it's better visible. Really shiny this one. Uh, fairly decent mold. You got all the major details in there that you would like from a BMW kit like the uh, plugs in the side skirts there that are taken out to I think jack it up you get a slight thing here for the emblem on the front of the hood and the grill is hollowed out and is molded super fine and it's real nice looking and uh, I'm actually quite looking forward to this build mainly because I'm going through a serious car season right now so yeah it can be built without a license plate it has like details in there as it if it did not have a license plate mold lines are hardly uh, feelable what do you call it are not very pronounced you can hardly feel them when you go there like they go along the the hood line there and up the a pillar and um, you can't har can't hardly feel feel it like I said the only place where it's actually visible is on the back here um, through the lights and a little bit here on the back but otherwise I'm trying to show you guys with the glare there it is on the top of my screen otherwise there's not a lot of cleanup that needs to be done on this which is quite good actually and then the I have one seat taken out because I was uh, having a look see how the seats fit because I'm planning on using one of the original seats and then I'm going to use this aftermarket uh, seats from uh, this set that I have unboxed earlier and there's a video out on that and I will be digging into this kit a little bit for some parts I haven't really decided how much yet but there are a little bit the seat and and the rear wing and such but anyways uh, I wasn't gonna go <laughs> that specifically through this kit but I already started that so here we go it's got a little bit of texture to it the seat it's got full backing on it uh, the actual cushion part has a little bit of uh, a texture to it so it's probably supposed to represent a cloth material I don't know but it should be leather in a BMW right uh, the interior top on its own sprue comes with the the rear view mirror but the interior top is molded to be left 
blank if you wanted to. You got the details like holes through the bottom here, the drain holes or whatever you call it, and some holes to access the fuel pump, I guess. As well as the bracing and bends and stuff in the metal itself. And I do plan on leaving this without a back seat and without the interior carpets and stuff. But it has minimal details in the door cars which kind of let the kit down. But <coughs> I don't worry about that too much, especially not in a drift missile build. And then just gonna pick whatever comes out of the box. No, in no particular order. Uh, we've got the clear parts, they're still in the back. I'm not gonna take them out until I have to use them. We have some uh, decals with some emblems, the the instruments. And you get European license plate, which is not very common, at least, at least not in my Japanese kits. And you also get the window maskings for easy paint. Stiff. And yeah, through the plastic I can't really tell if there are any imperfections in the glass. I would not assume there are. But one of the tail lights has already come off the sprue. But then again, I have been handling this kit a little bit, trying to plan ahead what a, how I'm going to build this and stuff. So here we got a sprue with some interior bits. We got the other seat, we got the back seat, we got the same texture on here. We got the steering wheel, we got the JDM license plate or the US license plates if you swing that way. And then we have a headrest for the back, steering column, a handbrake, we're gonna have to modify that for the drift purposes. We got the center console and uh, the automatic transmission lever, we're also gonna have to modify that for uh, for drifting purposes, because this is gonna represent a a uh, manual gearbox, and then we have the Euro plates. The front one is bent slightly to follow the contour of the bumpers. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we got chassis bits. We got the exhaust molded in with the uh, with a heat shield, and it's actually better to have it like this. Then mold it into the chassis plate, or the bottom plate, I guess. Various bits and bobs. We got um, not the greatest brake calipers molded onto the disc, but they'll, they'll work. Especially inside the stock wheels. And I don't have any aftermarket wheels for this. And uh, yeah, just budget-wise, I decided to just go with uh, stock wheels. As many drifters actually do here in Iceland, uh, they rather use their aftermarket wheels on the road and use the stock wheels for, for yeah, wrecking drift tires. But we got uh, fuel tank bits, we got a stabilizer bar, we got a rear diff, the only diff, uh, with some trailing arms. We got some suspension parts. I'm gonna probably gonna have to lower this car a little bit, and I wouldn't mind getting a bit of a poke of uh, negative camber on the front tires. And uh, yep, next we got the chassis plate, which has molded-in engine details, which kind of sucks. Uh, this is a gas tank. Then what the hell is this? Anywho, uh, I'm talking out of my ass here. I don't know what this is. I think this is the gas tank. Rather than the other bits that go here. Not sure. Anyways. Got some more suspension bits. Uh, this is where the bumpers are. I've taken them off. The sprue. And the steering, me steering mechanism. The steering gear. Ra rack and pinion. Which it does not have power steering I guess here we got the dashboard is quite well molded uh, with the radio and stuff I'm thinking I'm gonna try and drill out the radio because a lot of these cars don't have the radio because they don't really need it and you got the wing mirrors and the wiper blades and these tiny things that I do not know what what is the purpose of 
think they're the, the mirror inserts. And then we got two of these sprues with the stock wheels. Really chromey looking. Uh, a lot more than I think they should be on the actual car. <clears throat> and like I said before, I'm gonna be using these. But I'm gonna be painting them different colors. Maybe something loud, I don't know. We'll see. And then we got the back bumper and the front bumper that I removed from the spruce to, to try them out on the body. Got the lovely uh, fog lights molded in there. And uh, yeah, not much to talk about here. Box art shows these as black, but I'm gonna be painting those because this car will have received probably a custom paint job. I haven't decided yet. Then we got some tires, and I haven't actually looked at those yet. Uh, so this has the stock wheels and it's only a 320 so it doesn't have a staggered wheels it has all the same size lovely tire pattern there which can't be seen because it's so black a little bit of a of a seam there in the middle but I'll be sanding these anyways and they are Pirelli's so they are uh, labeled and they have all the size markings and everything in there and the Pirelli logo, so they are licensed. And then we got some poly caps. And least but not last but not least, <laughs> since this is a special edition, I think this only comes with a special edition, is what I like to think. But this is actual cloth material in uh, light tan for carpets. So you get actual carpets for the interior. Just super glued that this in there. It's already pre-cut and stuff. But I won't be using this on this one. But I would re really like to, even though this color is horrible for an interior. Um, <clears throat> I would love to put it in there. So maybe one day I'll get another one. The Hasegawa also has a 316i. Maybe I'll buy that and build that as a road car. Who knows? Maybe in the future. But yeah, then the last thing that's in the box is this spoiler or rear wing that I built already earlier. And I've shown this in the video where I unboxed the, the tuner parts before. So yeah. This is supposed to be here, it's already broken off. And uh, yeah, that's what's in the box. This is what I'm going to build. We got the instructions here if you guys want to see those. Hasegawa instructions. Straightforward. Uh, they got some blue printing to show you where you need to... What, what you're doing and stuff. And uh, Different blues for different colors, I guess. Simple kit to build. Except I need to modify the stuff here and stuff there. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna put in a full roll cage. But, um. Yeah, so this is the upcoming video series of the BMW 320i Drift Missile. Ish. Drift ish missile. So, yeah, it's gonna be a drift car with a uh, stripped interior. It's gonna have a passenger, set, passenger seat. Oops, it's gonna have a passenger seat and it's gonna have a bucket racing seat for the driver and nothing else on the interior. I need to convert from automatic to manual and uh, I was gonna have the box lid here while I was talking, but just look at the body instead or something. And uh, yeah, that's the major plan now that my work buddy has requested uh, the body to be orange uh, which is his plan with his car but I haven't quite decided yet on that because I really like the idea of doing a black body with a red hood like his like his car is currently uh, but he plans on painting it before the next season but we'll see we'll see maybe I'll go an entirely different route I was thinking maybe some metal metallic silver which is more of a BMW-ish color to me. 
But anyways, uh, I'm just rambling now on this at this stage. It's time for me to stop this video and start recording again, I guess, because I want to dig into this kit. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope I'll see you on the next one uh, following this build. So keep on modeling, keep having fun. Bye.